Okay, let's talk about this physics binder and what's expected of you. So um, the purpose, the reason we're doing this is because it is important for you to be organized in life in general. It's a great skill to have so that you know where things are, so that you can find the things you need. Um, and also, in this course, there's going to be a lot of information, some you might not be so familiar with, um, and you're going to have to be able to find it again. Uh, you, you're obviously not going to want to go back and watch all the videos again and look for something specific in there. So we're going to be taking those guided notes that you already know about. Um, you're going to be doing the assignments and all these things. And you don't want to just do those things and then immediately um, lose them, not have them. You, you want to have those available for you since you put in that work to, to make them in the first place. You want to have them available for you. So... Um, so that you can use them later. So what we're going to do is just create a physics binder. Remember this is going to be 15% of the final quarter grade, so it is very important. So the things that are going to go in it are a physics dictionary. As I explained, that's just the um, vocabulary for the week and stuff. You're just going to hand write it out real quick, throw it in. Uh, shouldn't be too bad, of, uh, big of a deal. The weekly guided notes are going to go in as well. Um, and then scrap paper for any of your online assignments. Anything that you um, need to do some math on, some by hand calculation, that all is going to go in there as well. There's also going to be some on paper assignments. And anytime we do a, a lab or anything, your, your notes for that, your data collection, any pages that you have to complete as, as part of the lab or any assignment, that needs to go in there as well. All things will be neat and in order. So um, the order of the binder is going to be the physics dictionary comes first, and then the uh, week one notes, and then anything that happened in week one. So um, any assignment things, any lab things, anything that happened in week one will go right behind the week one notes. And then week two notes, anything that happened in week two. So it's just going in order as you can see here. So there will be a um, rubric so you can see what's expected of you. I've made my own right here. You can make a nice little cover page if you want. Um, but so you're going to open it up and first thing is going to be your physics dictionary. It's just a piece of paper. Um, it would be nice for you to write physics dictionary above the top and then we'll break it up into units. This says unit one right here and then you're gonna write um, the word and the definition. I've color-coded mine, so nice and neat. That's gonna be, um, you know, part of the grid. If you make it look nice, um, you're gonna do better if it looks nice than if it's just scribbled in there. Um, and then right past my physics dictionary, it's week one of the guided notes. Completed, of course. Um, so you'll have the guided notes as you can see and then anything past that hey here's some work for um, Q quarter one week two assignment two here's some work because there's some math that's going on in that assignment okay I had to do some math by hand I had to write some things out um, put that in the binder even if it's even if that work is messy let's say you just did it um, on some scrap paper or whatever, that's fine. Hole punch it, put it in. Right past that, week three notes, etc. Right? So, right past my week three notes would be work for the next week. So, I will be hole punching the notes for you. If anything is not hole punched, we have a three hole punch in the lab. So if you, whenever you're in lab or wherever, you have a three-hole punch and something needs to go in there, just slide it on in, three-hole punch it, and put it right in your binder. Um, something to be careful of, uh, in a, when you just have pieces of paper in a three-ring binder, you don't want to pull on them very much. You want to be very careful when you're turning the pages so, you, so they don't rip out. If they do rip out, it's possible to still keep them in there. Um, there are little stickers that you can use. We'll put around the holes, and it'll help you. But um, just figure it out if, if you end up pulling some out. 
As for the rubric, we'll look at proficient here because that is the that is the goal. You want to get a proficient grade on this. So what's going to happen is that will include the physics dictionary and all vocabulary, handwritten. Um, all the weekly notes completed and handwritten and in the binder. All on-paper assignments are completed and in the binder. All lab notes or lab assignments completed, included in the binder. And all scratch work, so all the assignments, all your work for the assignments are in. And then as for organization, everything is in chronological order. Chronological means first things first, last things last. So it, everything is in order, and also everything is legible. Nothing's so just uh, scribbly and I have no idea what's going on with it. You have labels. Um, there's, there's headers on, your, on the papers and stuff, so I know what they are. Um, so if you want to get better than that, then you can meet the proficient standards. And in terms of materials, if you want to get an advanced, you can meet the proficient standards and then goes above and beyond in some way. So that includes additional helpful physics resources, so additional things that you've included to help yourself. Deep explanations on the scratch work or notes or assignments that showed that you put a lot of effort into that, you're really trying to understand it, and you're really trying to help you moving forward by having uh, those explanations and those extras on there. Um, and any other way to improve the materials of your binder in order to help you with your learning. Um, and it, for the organization piece, if it meets all the provision standards and is especially pleasing to the eye test. So if we're talking organization, Things are included but not limited to color coding, helpful diagrams, uh, very well spaced and organized, careful handwriting. If it looks really nice um, and organized, you are going to get an advanced on the organization instead of just the proficient. Let's look. So that's what you want. Let's look at some things that um, could dock your grade a little bit. If you're, if you're missing things, um, if materials are not handwritten, if it's messy, um, if it's out of chronological order, that's going to dock your grade. So you can go in here, this is lesson four, understanding your physics binder from week one. You can go in here and uh, look through this rubric if you want. If you have any questions about it, let me know. If you're in a week, if you're ever working in physics, you should have your physics binder with you. First thing you do is the physics dictionary. You pull this up. Hey, I've got two words. You open up your physics dictionary. You write the words down and their definitions, and then you're done. If you are out of paper space in your dictionary, just add more paper. That's the great thing about a three-ring binder. You can just add more. So throw those in there, your physics, physics dictionary. That will be the first thing you do every week. As you go on, um, when you grab the notes, make sure those go in there whenever you're done with them. You can take them out or write on them and stuff, but make sure they go right back in. Um, and then as you're going through here, as you're completing the assignments, you're going to want to put your scratch work in there right behind the notes. It's a place to do it. Whenever you're done, even if you're not completely finished with the assignment or whatever, whatever you have, just put it in. Put it in the physics binder as you go. This project does itself, completes itself. Just as you're doing the work, throw it in there. Um, and then at the end, you've just got a little bit of a reminder at the end to make sure if you haven't been doing that throughout the week, to make sure that you go back and you put all that stuff in order. And then at the end, when it's turn in your physics binder time, uh, you get an easy 15%. That's cake 15%. Um, for you to get because you've been doing it the whole time and so you can just turn it right in nice and easy